There are so many things that I never knew I could make in my Instant Pot. Today, we're gonna tackle cottage cheese. Hey guys, my name is Vanessa, and today in the Instant Pot, we are going to make a cottage cheese. I love cottage cheese as a snack with fruit. Pears is my absolute favorite to pair up with cottage cheese. It's so good. I also like it on my salad. So let me know down below what you guys like to serve up with your cottage cheese, how you like to eat it. If you are just a plain Jane, you like some salt and pepper and it's good to go or anything you like mixed in because I'm always looking for new things to pair up with my cottage cheese. So let's get right into making this in our Instant Pot. First, we're going to pour an entire gallon of whole milk into your Instant Pot. And you are going to reserve about half a cup. So I'm gonna make sure before I pour this whole thing in there, I've got half a cup and then we'll pour the rest. Okay, let's close our lid, make sure it's locked and sealing. Now we're going to press the yogurt button and adjust so the screen says boil. Now we're going to let the pot go through the boiling process. When it beeps again, we're gonna switch it to the yogurt. Okay, once the boil is done, it will beep, turn itself off, and then it will say yogurt. So you are going to want to press the yogurt button again and let it cook for one hour. So I'm gonna have to go all the way up to 60 minutes. All right, so now for the long part. We're gonna wait one hour. Once your hour is up, turn the Instant Pot off. There should be no steam. It never you know, really pressurized. We were just heating up the milk. So you should have no problem getting that lid off. Now I'm going to add a three quarter cup white wine vinegar and I'm going to add that slowly and mix it up. And the vinegar, can you see that? Is already, it should automatically start curdling the milk as you mix it. You'll see that whey start separating and it is Everything I've read online says like greenish color, but to me it looks more of a yellow. So we're just gonna mix that up. All right, now I'm going to let it sit here for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, there's definitely a lot more separation. You can see here, now that I'm mixing it, it's mixing back together. But there was a ton of the liquid on top. All right, this step is gonna be a different depending on what you have. It's gonna be a little tricky for me because I didn't wanna go out and buy anything new. So I'm over at my sink. This is the size of the mesh strainer that I own. So I definitely need to buy a bigger one. Um, however, I am going to try to do something different and I'm bringing you guys along. So instead of doing it a little bit at a time in this one, that's you know shaped like a bowl almost, so the liquid would go through, the cottage cheese was sitting here. Instead, I am using a larger bowl, and then I have this splatter screen that is you know a mesh. So I'm going to leave this splatter screen on top of the bowl. I'm going to take my Instant Pot, yeah, I've got to get some oven mitts on because the Instant Pot is still fairly hot. So I'm going to pour it a little bit at a time. So the liquid will go through the splatter screen and the cottage cheese will stay on top. I guess no matter what, I'm still gonna have to do it a little bit at a time, because I don't wanna waste any of the cottage cheese. I wanna be able to keep all of it. Oh, well, that's working pretty well though. So now, 
I have a separate bowl over here and I'm going to pour my cottage cheese into that bowl so I can keep it. And I'm gonna keep doing this probably just another two times until I've got all of it set out in there. Once you've got your cottage cheese completely strained, now you're going to take that half a cup of milk that you saved, pour that in your cottage cheese. Now you could omit this if you like the cottage cheese as is. However, I like a more creamier cottage cheese. So I'm going to mix this up really well. Once you've got your milk all mixed in there, make sure you have it in an airtight container and put it in the refrigerator. It is still warm, so I'm not gonna eat it until it's nice and cold. I'll probably wait until the very next day. But my two favorite ways to have cottage cheese is with pears or on top of a salad in place of dressing. It's so good. Not a lot of people like cottage cheese on their salads, but I am definitely a fan. This cottage cheese will keep as long as the date that was on your milk jug. So. I hope you guys enjoy your homemade cottage cheese. All right, if you guys are excited about making cottage cheese in your Instant Pot, give this video a big thumbs up. If you wanna see more things that you had no idea, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified because every single Wednesday, I am back with a new recipe or something to do with your Instant Pot. And there are quite a few things that I had no idea I could make in this bad boy. So I'm really excited to share them with you guys. I will see you guys on Friday in another video. Bye.